Meghan Markle and Prince Harry revealed one of their son Archie Harrison's favorite songs during a meeting with Afghan schoolchildren. Meghan and Harry spent time with Afghan schoolchildren on Thursday, as they visited Task Force Liberty at the Joint Base McGuire, Dix, Lakehurst in New Jersey. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex actively took part in a conversational English class. During their time with the children, they used markers to teach them the words for color and help the pupils practice their English, listening to them saying sentences such as nice to meet you. Moreover, Meghan and Harry led a rendition of the song Heads, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. Speaking to the schoolchildren, they shared this song is one of their son's favorites as well, a spokesperson for the Sussexes said. Speaking about their day at the base, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's representative also said, they asked staff about common terms in Dari and left every interaction with children and adults alike saying Tashikar, which means thank you. Archie celebrated his second birthday in May, a month before the couple welcomed their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana. The family of four lives in Montecito, Santa Barbara, where the Sussexes moved during the summer of 2020. This isn't the first time Meghan and Harry share a few details about their son. In February, during an interview with James Corden on a special episode of The Late Late Show, the Duke revealed Archie's first word. Harry said, My son is now over a year and a half, he is hysterical. He's got the most amazing personality. He's already putting two, three words together, he's already singing songs. His first word was crocodile, three syllables. During the same show, Harry also said his grandmother the Queen has often seen via video call Archie following the Sussexes' relocation to the US and even sent them as a Christmas present. For Archie a waffle maker, which the tot deeply appreciated. In May, during the mental health series he co-created with Oprah Winfrey. The me you can't see, he also said, referring to his late mother Princess Diana, I got a photo of her in his nursery. And it was one of the first words that he said. Apart from Mama, Papa, it was then Grandma. Grandma Diana. It's the sweetest thing, but at the same time, it makes me really sad because she should be here. While at Task Force Liberty, Meghan and Harry also praised the teachers for their tireless efforts in supporting the pupils and reminded them to take care of themselves. The Duke and Duchess also spent time with women who recently arrived at the base. Task Force Liberty is currently home to 10,000 Afghan refugees who fled their homeland in recent months following the return to power of the Taliban in mid-August. They are being provided temporary housing, medical screening and education by the U.S. Department of Defense. Earlier this week, it was reported Meghan and Harry had hosted a lunch for some of the military personnel and their family living at the air base in Burlington County. This visit took place on Remembrance Day, which falls on the same day of Veterans Day in the U.S., which celebrates all living former service personnel for their effort. A spokesperson for Meghan and Harry said the couple met with members of all six branches of the U.S. military during their visit. Their chats, the representative added, were focused on topics close to the Sussex's heart, mental health and the importance of community. Harry marked this visit saying, as we honor and reflect on Remembrance Day in the UK, which shares a date with Veterans Day here in the US. My hope is for all of us to continue to support the well-being and recognize the value of our troops, veterans and the entire military and service family. We and they are better for it.